Okay, how, how to clean the fan off a, um, a Lenovo Flex 5 laptop ID. Uh, I think it's an ID pad Flex 5. Um, so here I have the, the fan. The computer opened up here. So uh, I can see a lot of dust in the fan and the fan blades. As you can see, so um, usually what happens is when you open, when you take the fan out and you reveal uh, what's between the fan and the uh, and the air grills, um, the air vents, um, usually clogged with dust. But I can see quite inside that there's not much. You can actually see it without taking the fan out that there's not much dust on the air vent grills. Um, so I'm just going to clean the fan anyway. Uh, you can use anything I just use. I just use a vacuum to be honest. As long as you know what you're doing, you're careful and you're not too harsh on the, com you know, on, on the components. The components. This fan is quite big, so you can actually use something like that. Uh, you can even use an air canister, which uh, sometimes I use. But I'm just going to try and uh, clean. Be very, very gentle and clean with a, a, a hoover. Um, I do recommend something smaller, unless, unless, uh, a smaller appliance uh, than that. But um, as long as you, the main thing is that you are careful whilst cleaning the dust out. So let's go ahead. Right, then that's enough for now. I'm actually going to take this, the fan out, uh, may as well. So I'm just going to uh, get a Phillips screwdriver, wrap it around the screws. This one's held down by the battery actually. So I'm gonna take that off. Just gonna the battery first, it's always important. So you can take that out first, yeah, see. Uh now I think this one's stuck underneath that and oh, there we go, yeah. Um see if we can actually uh take this off. So it's stuck down by some rubber adhesive here. Uh Sorry, a foam pad, sorry, it's stuck down. And I'm just going to try and... Uh... Remove the power cable. The fan power cable from the board. Sit. There are no screws, to, uh, some very small screws that hold the top um, um, plate to the bottom plate um, of the fan. Usually sometimes you have some screws that hold the top and bottom together, uh, the, the two cases on the fan. But I can't see anything of, of that of that's, uh, such a kind. So I'm just going to... Um, you can see a blanket of dust there, a little bit of dust there, so I'm going to remove that, as you can see there. Uh, clean that up there. So let's go ahead and, and uh, I've got some uh, 
dust deposit remain stuck under the fan there. You can see some dust over here and we'll remove the stuff. Always make sure that you um, use a brush on the vacuum. Uh, I never use a vacuum if it's very, very small component. A uh, very, very small fan. Always use a very small, a much smaller appliance. I always use a much uh, smaller appliance if your fan is, is, very, is a, a lot smaller, a very much smaller, but on, um, on I do have, such as this one, uh, this, the fan is quite big to be honest, um, so you can, you know, you can do, it's uh, quite uh, separated from the, uh, you know, from the board, for example, there's no components around it, so it's safe to do that, just use a bit of common sense, that's all you need, don't listen to people that say you can't do this or you can't do that, you know. Um, it's all about common sense so uh, as long as you use a bit of um, common sense and you're alright uh, let's go ahead <coughs> Seems to be pretty much cleaned out now, to be honest. Um, what I'm going to use now is I'm going to use a bit of screen keyboard cleaning fluid, or you could even use a bit of um, alcohol. Uh, something like that. That's fine. I'm just going to um, 
clean it a bit more, clean the blades a bit more around some uh, paper towel. Um, paper towel to clean put some spray on there some screen and keyboard fluid any sort of fluid that cleaning fluid should be all right really um, and then there's clean it clean the blades like that clean up the blades Cotton buds or anything like that are always a good option as well if you've got those cotton earbuds um, or a cloth like this. Wipes, alcohol wipes for example, they're good. Baby wipes, anything that you can use to clean this thing is always a good option. That's it, that seems to be all right now, this. Nice and clean, it's all good to go. Um, so what you want to do, put the screws back on, obviously. I'm just going to give it a bit more of a last, last, a last clean. Just to make sure. There you go, I think that's sorted now, so I'm going to put, get ready to put the screws back on. Um, make sure it's in the right grooves. There you go, it's in the right grooves now and put the power cable in. That power's on the, the fan itself. That's him. And there's no obstru obstruction. Um, I mean, there wasn't much much at all, to be honest, uh, between the fan and the uh, heat uh, and the air vents, metal air vents. There you go, sorted now. Now you can put the battery in as well. Once you're done with that, uh, I'm gonna leave it out for now myself. Yeah, all done. And then also at the same time is a great what you do now. Where you've got the the, the back of the uh, the bottom of the uh, the laptop. You're also a good time to do a thermal repaste. Um, so now's a good time to do that. I would say I'm not going to do it on this one, but you could do that on yours where you'll have to take the four screws off here as. There's another screw here, 
probably take off the, this tape and then you're going to have to put some thermal tape paste. It may be just be a thermal pad. I think it's just a thermal pad you've got over here underneath that. So but I, I'm not 100% sure though. So that would not, you would not have to do a thermal repaste if that is the case. Um, but yeah, this particular laptop, that, 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 that information applies just for this particular laptop. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, helped you sort out your problem. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video for more helpful tips. Thank you.